my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Rainbow Effect Smoke on GIMP. And if you don't have GIMP, you can download it in the link below. Or if you have um, Photoshop CS6, you can easily go to my channel and find the video for Photoshop CS6. Okay, let's get started. So of course what you want to go to do is click on File and Open and find your picture. My picture is already here. I'm going to use this for you ladies. And unlike Photoshop CS6, um, with zooming on half, like pushing control and the plus sign two times, you actually have to click on view, click on zoom, and then zoom in, and do that as many times as you need to, depending on how small your picture is. And my picture, to me, is very small. Okay, that's pretty good for me. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here and make sure your picture is in the layer box. If it's not, then click on this area here and click on your picture so it's there. Make sure it's there or you're not going to be able to really do this effect without your picture in the layer box. And then you're also going to need to click on layer, which is in this area here. New layer and push OK. And there we go. Make sure these two layers are in there. If you don't, then you're not going to have that much fun. <laughs> anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on the gradient button, which is right here, and it looks like that. And um, click on this area here and go ahead and find the color that you want, which should be ah, right here. Mine is called Full Saturation Spectrum CW. The other one is Full Satur Saturation Spectrum CCW. But I'm going to be using this one because the red starts on this side. So what you're going to want to do is just start on the tip or like around here and then in there. Perfect. That's perfect for me. Well actually let's see. Ah yes that is perfect. Okay. So um you're going to want to lower the opacity I think. Yeah opacity. So you can be able to see what you're erasing, what you're not erasing. And click on the eraser tool right here. And you can make it bigger here. I think that's, yeah, okay. Make it bigger, smaller. You can use all different kind of brushes and all that other stuff. All that good stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just erase. She has gorgeous eyes. This girl has really gorgeous eyes. <laughs> Sorry. I just noticed that right now. Um, I really just started doing this. Actually, I started today. Well, yesterday is kind of two o'clock in the morning right now. But um, I do not know how to um, or which tool to put back the, like, say you accidentally got some part of the smoke. I do not know how to put it back. So, just try to do small strokes. So, if you mess up, just push Control Z and it comes back. Once I figure out how, what tool to use to um, put it back without having to go back or undo, I'll get right to you. So now we're going to want to make this smaller. Let's just zoom in. Oh, just pinch. Oh, okay. Just pinch your um your well it depends on what you're using. Pinch. <laughs> All I can tell you. Go ahead and
And there we go. Quick, simple, easy, fun. This is actually really fun. That is how you do the rainbow effect on the book. It's really easy, it's really fun, it's simple, and pretty much anyone can do it. And I hope that this tutorial has helped you a lot. Um, bye. <laughs>